What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the honeypot red bubble strategy. Now, the reason why this is important is I've actually mentioned this video uh, in a few videos back where I said I would do this exact video. If you guys remember a few videos ago, I mentioned that I found out this creative strategy uh, to get more red bubble sales. And I said I would share it very, very soon. Uh, well, here's the day, and here is my strategy that I'm going to uh, share. Now, the reason why I call this the honeypot strategy is because I liken it to finding the gold, finding the honey. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we, you, you guys all know we utilize Instagram to help us grow on Redbubble. We all know this, right? If you're new to the channel, well, then go ahead. I'll welcome you. And, you know, you're welcome. And um, uh, we, you know, and this is an introduction to this, is that something we've introduced here on the channel before is utilizing Red Instagram to grow our Redbubble stores. Now, what we do is we don't necessarily use Instagram from an organic standpoint, right? It's not like we just post uh, pictures and, and just you know, hope somebody comes to our website, what we do is we command success on Instagram by utilizing a Instagram automation tool. And so when people say, what are those Instagram automation tools? We have igbots.org, right? And we have um, bots and apps Gumroad, okay? And we have these different tools, because what we want to do is we want to automate the process to make our lives easier when it comes down to utilizing Instagram. And what we do is we find tremendous growth with these tools, okay? Now, that's not up for debate. That's the, We already all know that, okay? And if you watch the YouTube channel, you probably already know this. Now, there's a different strategy within this that can create a big spike for you in terms of sales, in terms of success, not only just followers, but like I said, in terms of sales and engagement, and we get spurts of these growth, and I'll, ex I'll exactly share how this is. So when you're on your quest to find your Instagram quote-unquote targets, what happens is, is you're looking for accounts that are similar, but referred to as competitors. So for example, here... I have, uh, let's just go ahead and pull up some accounts here that are somewhat similar to mine. So here we have this Christian account. And the reason why it's similar is because it's Christian related, right? And I have this, my own personal profile is Christian related as well. So in that sense, we're the same. If I go ahead and target their account, right? So if I just, let's just go ahead and open up their account here. Um, where is it here? Any one of these Christian ones. Let's let's click on this one, right? It's similar. There's a picture of nature in the background. There's a quote, right? I can click on the account. I can click on the people who like the, the photo and I can open up my Instagram automation tool. So here I'm utilizing the Instagram automation bot. And what I could do is I just double check my settings here that I that I select and I click follow and I just click it once and it will work for me. Well, there's like I said, another strategy to this. Well, what happens is we can look a little bit deeper to really, really get a huge boost in our sales. And when I mean sales, I actually mean sales and I mean income. Uh, just a few days ago, I did this in a matter of two days, I got about seven sales to close off the month of last month. And I've actually mentioned this in the, I believe in the sales report video. I can't exactly remember which video it was, but what I did was something a little bit different. Okay. Instead of me going to just a random account, and by the way, this is going slower because the numbers are set here from five to 15. So every five to 15 seconds, it will perform an action. But let me just go ahead and stop it for right now since I don't want it to work here, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. There was an account I found, and this is a perfect example of an account that's growing consistently, right? It doesn't have that many followers, 2,261 followers. But if we look here, right, let's say this photo, 87 likes, 59 likes, 65 likes, 35 likes. So normal for an account of this size. But if we look, if we keep looking, look at this one photo that I've been taking a look at. Where is it here? I know it's here somewhere. Okay, let's see. Hopefully I didn't uh, lose its uh, location. Let's see here. Just bear with me, guys. Here it is, okay? This one, 5,635 likes. 
whatever it is about this photo, it is something special. Okay, something special, at least more special than the others up here. Like this one had 214 likes, 60 likes, etc. And for some reason, there are many people gravitating towards this post. Instagram, for whatever reason, decided to push this post out. So, what I did was I used this post as the Instagram target. See, what the idea is instead of us, and let me go ahead and pull up a whiteboard here, instead of me going to the posts and for example let's say this is a chart right and let's say all posts tend to be let's say in this range which for that account was let's say 50 to 60 follow uh, likes a photo right you might have one that has 80 you might have one that has 30 you might have one that's right in the middle but then we have one that shoots all the way to the top right at 5000 okay then what do you think is the best you know a uh, photo to go and target with it's this one right and the reason why I say it's this one is because this account, this photo right here is constantly growing. So we're getting the latest and greatest in terms of followers. And you can see here, I'm already actually engaging with these people. Okay. So you can see here, I got my bot going and clearly I missed a group of people here. So what I could do is I could actually get started on it. So I could go ahead and scroll here and turn up with the bot, turn it on. And it will obviously take me to the photo. Let me go ahead and open the likes. I'll go ahead and scroll down manually, right? And I'll go ahead and get it started for me. But for the sake of the video, let's just go ahead and shorten this from 5 to 10 seconds per action. And we'll just hit start. And what it will do is it will start automating for me. But what I'm trying to say is, is that what you need to do to find the honey pot right to find that pot of honey of extreme potential and positive resources what we need to do is we need to go to accounts and we need to look for the photo that is has the most engagement by far and that's actually a little pro tip and a cheat code honestly because i've noticed the huge difference in terms of my growth not only on redbubble but through instagram and as you know if we're utilizing instagram to grow our red bubbles then what we need to do is we need to measure on a micro basis, okay? And when I say a micro basis, what I mean is that is that we have to know a barometer. We have to know for X amount of likes, we get X amount of sales. In this case, let's just say for one sale. So for us, uh, excuse me, not X amount of likes, X amount of follows that we perform, right? So for us, let's say it takes us 100 follows to get a single sale right? For everybody, it's different. For some people, it could be 300. For some people, it could be 4,000. For some people, it could be 100. For some people, it could be 50, right? For X amount of follows, do we get X amount of sales? And then it becomes a numbers game. But the thing is, is that that's for the average photo. Remember what we said over here is that these are the average photos. Once we hit a superstar post, or a superstar photo on Instagram, that means Instagram is pushing it out. Instagram not only sees that it's beneficial, but the but the, the audience is reacting to it positively. And if the audience, the specific audience that's highly, highly engaging with that specific post is engaging with it very, very highly, then if we're in the same niche and in the same category, there's a very high likelihood that they can engage with ours too because we're getting the cream of the crop in terms of the audience. And this is actually has helped me boost my audience up very, very recently. And like I said, you don't find many of these. And this is why I call it the honeypot is because, you know, just in nature, you don't find too many honeybees in a in a hive making honey. You just don't find it as much. In fact, I've read some articles about people saying that they could potentially go extinct in the future. Uh, and, you know, the face of humanity relies on the honeybee. Now, what I'm trying to say with all this is that this is a honeypot in, in the Instagram nature because this is very rare. We don't typically see posts shoot up like this. So if I had one tip for you, not only go for accounts that are in your niche, but try to find these honeypots. And you don't want to go for, like, let's say, for example, the the uh, every post on average is, let's say, 100 likes. And then that one big post is, let's say, 300 likes. That's not a true honeypot, right? You're not even on the edge of that, right? right? But I'm saying a perfect situation like this, where the person's posts, you know that that person's posts are not truly... Um, uh, you know, 
made to go big or, or to grow, essentially, right? And uh, But instead, you reach an account that, that is doing phenomenally well. And so, what I'm really trying to say with all of this, guys, is that if you can find these accounts that have an average following, an average growth, you know, when I say average, I mean low compared to what we've been targeting before. But the most important find thing is find something, find an account that Instagram is pushing very, very hard. And we can take these accounts and we can grow towards them. In this case, because of how drastic the differences in the numbers are, we can say that this indeed is a honeypot, right? Well, we went from 60 likes and, and the guy at the end of the day had 2,000 something followers. So for him to get 5,000 something likes on a post, that's a huge amount. Okay, and the guy is obviously growing, so his account is obviously growing, and you know, just because this post for him is blowing up doesn't mean it will blow up for me, right, so, uh, you know, for whatever reason, this post blew up for him, doesn't mean it will blow up for me, so, like I said, this video um, is all about finding that that one sacred quote-unquote uh, post in special accounts. Is you're not going to find this in all accounts, okay? And it's actually harder to find it in the larger accounts uh, because the larger accounts are already capped out. And when I say capped out, if you think about it, let's say you go for an account that's getting a million followers or has a million followers and it's gaining followers on a daily basis in the hundreds and thousands, okay? Well, it's probably already normal for that account to have some posts with 250,000 likes, 350,000 likes, right? Because of how big they actually are. So if you're going for regular posts, it's not, you know, ideal. And on top of that, those posts might be significantly old. You don't want to go for accounts that are significantly old because then they might have died down already. You need to find a post that not only is much larger than the other posts, but is secondly still growing, and also on top of that, you need to find a post that is recent. So there's three criteria to find this quote unquote honeypot photo on Instagram, right? It has to be, like I said, on an account, and the photo has to be still growing in terms of its likes. You have to, secondly, uh, it has to be, um, excuse me, it has to be on an account that's you know, the amount of likes is much, much larger than the others. And more importantly, uh, it has to be growing consistently. Now, with that all being said, guys, these these honeypot, you know, posts, um, if you can find them more often in your niche, you'll be very good. I tend to not find them as often. But like I said, they're rare. So if you can find them, if you have a strategy to look for these posts, you're going to be doing very, very well. And the reason why why I take this approach um, is this came out and the re or the reason, excuse me, why I took this approach. I apologize, guys, if I'm jumbling over my words today, just got a little bit distracted. But if the reason uh, why I, I started this approach was purely based on luck. I was, you know, scrolling through competitors, looking at competitors, and uh, I found, wait a minute, you know, why does this person have so many likes on this post versus all the other posts? Let me go ahead and utilize that one as a target. Now, the, th the one thing that could stop this uh, method from working for you is if this quote-unquote honeypot um, account uh, or, or post, rather, is not in your dedicated niche. Okay, it's not in your dedicated niche. It's not in your field. It's not, you know, whatever, because at that point, you're just, you know, you're essentially like the boy who cried wolf. People are hearing you, but it doesn't really matter to them. They're not interested. Right. And so that's kind of the best way to look at it. Um, and that's really it. That's the game plan. And obviously, you guys could see here, I'm letting the bot do all the work for me. It's doing the follows. It's doing the mint, the likes, the 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 you know the follows for me. If I wanted to do likes, it could. But this is morely more for a follow strategy. It's not so much for uh, likes because you know with likes you're going from a hashtag and you're liking certain posts, right? But with the follow, it's much different. You're selectively uh, picking a certain post based on the interests of the individual. And you can assume a lot from a single individual of how much interest they have. Now, for those who've been watching this video and they've never used an Instagram bot and they don't know what's going on, well, you could see here, the Instagram bot is actively following people for me as I've been talking. 
Okay, you could see here it's been doing the work. And a lot of the people who um, are involved in Redbubble maybe not be aware of the Instagram bot growth process. So the way this works is, let's say you have a certain store. Let's just say this is your store. I'll just go ahead and pull it up here. This Raven Design store is your design. Now, ideally, you're going to want to pick a store in a single niche. So let's say this is my niche, ramen cats. And I have a bunch of photos of cats, ramen cats. What I would do is I would go on Instagram and I would find accounts that are promoting pictures of ramen cats. Okay, that's what I would do. And I would figure out, okay, who's the type of person or who's the identity of consumer that would ideally purchase a product with a picture of a cat and ramen, right? It could be maybe the anime group, and I might take my chance with the anime group. It might be the artist group, and I might take my chance with the artist group. And what I do when I say take my chance is I would go into the search and I would do my research. I would type in certain words that I would look for that represent people who are interested in this kind of topic. And then what I would do is I would start engaging with them the same way I'm engaging now with this tool here, right? And I believe it actually completed the 50 follows right now. Okay, no, it didn't. That's why it reset. But, um, uh, you know, what I would do is I would engage with them. I would do the follows. I would do the likes. I would do all that depending on the settings. Now, with IGBots.org over here, this product that's $119 is called the Optimal Bot. This is a one time payment tool where you utilize their tool and you can perform unfollow. Follow on like posts, which is exactly what we're doing, right? We're, we're following the people who liked a certain post. And then we have follow lists, right? So follow lists means the people who are following this individual, right? And then we have the hashtag like. So those are the different functions that the tool can do, right? And this is, like I said, a one-time payment tool. But then you have these, right, that can either do like, follow, unfollow, or comment, and each one is its own individual tool as well, right? So that's something you want to be aware of as well throughout this process, um, is that you can modulize the process. So for one month, you could try your follow and follow and see how it goes. For another month, you could try your like. For another month, you could try your comment. Now, if you're interested in actually getting these tools and using these tools, what I would say is you have to learn how to use them properly. And there's not too much education online around this kind of concept, um, because it's something that has, uh, I would say, been quieted. Not too many people have been talking about it, or not too many people talk about it, because in general, not too many people know about it. I mean, that's just the reality. Um, but I've actually, before I've talked about Redbubble, before I talked about uh, blogging, before I talked about Shopify, before I, before I talked about any of these things, guys, what I would actually talk about is Instagram automation, Instagram tools like this. And um, I've done it for years before I even started YouTube. Um, so if you are interested in learning about that, I have a lot of free content on my YouTube channel, but if you go to autopilotpassiveincome.com and you go over here to other, I have these two little guides here. Here I have the Instagram plus Redbubble mini course, which basically with the mini course is just explaining the purpose of the Instagram bots and how to use them. And it's completely free. Okay. And here I have an installation manual. So this installation guide is specifically for these tools here. And generally all these tools are the same to install. They actually include um, directions on how to install and they're all the same, right? But if you need a helping hand, like a step-by-step -step walkthrough of exactly how to do it, you're able to do this on Mac, you're able to do this on PC, um, and you're able to do this on Chromebook as well. So you could do this on a lot of different things um, for any of these tools. But what I would say is that when you're working with these tools, understand that you are the controller, you are the pilot behind these tools. And the success results that you're going to get is simply because of you. It's not because of the tool, right? The tool is just going to do its job. If you tell it to do 50 follows, it does the 50 follows. It doesn't control the outcome. Now, some people ask me, how realistic is it to get results with this tool for Redbubble? Well, what I say is, if you're getting follows, if you're getting likes on your Instagram account, then know for a fact that you will eventually get sales. It's just a matter of who you can target. See, what I tend to say is uh, a certain amount of follows and likes on your account is equal to a, a sale, right? So for some people, like I said, on some accounts, depending on how good their targeting is and how good their content is on their Instagram account, for every 50 follows they do, 
that might equal to a sale. For somebody else, it might be 500 follows before they get a sale. And what it is, is this is has its own learning curve. It's its own process in and of itself, right? So, um, just like the way we look at Redbubble and we say, okay, there's a, a process behind titling your products. There's a process behind learning how to tag your products optimally. There's a process to learn how to do marketing for your Redbubble. Uh, there's a process to learn how to design. Just how we say all those things, we also say that there's a process with the Instagram. Now, granted, the Instagram is much, much easier because it's literally just a few buttons to click and to understand, but in that same notion, it's still something you have to learn and you have to take seriously if you want to do it, you know, serious with, with results. Um, now, there's a lot of people who would say, okay, um, how can I test this before buying it? Well, you could easily test it two different ways. The first way is you just go over here to the tool and pay the monthly price. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and cancel it. That's one way. The second way is you could do this completely for free where you sit down one day. Okay, and you follow 150 people. Now, what I say when I do the 150 people, this is what you're going to do. Okay, let me go ahead and pause the computer. Okay. Let me go ahead and pause the bot rather. When you follow your 150 people, what I don't want you to do is do this. I'll show you what I exactly what I mean. Okay, you open up your list of following. What I don't want you to do is click, click, click. You can't do that because if you do that, you're increasing your chances of getting blocked on Instagram because Instagram will say, wait a minute, you look like a computer. You're just clicking, 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 clicking. You're spamming the system. So what you need to do is you need to click, then you need to wait. You need to wait anywhere from, let's say, 30 seconds to 70 seconds, and you're going to wait a random number of seconds. So you might wait, let's say, 52 seconds, right? And then you click, and then you wait before you waited 52 seconds, then you go ahead and you wait 70 seconds. Then after the 70 seconds are over, you click again. And this whole time, you're keeping record of how many you're clicking because you want to do a total of 150. And then after that, you just leave it alone for the day. Now, if you do you know, that clicking, 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 like consistently without stopping for 150, you'll get away with it for the first day, the second day, the third day, maybe even the fifth day. But eventually, within a, a period of a month, you're going to get blocked on Instagram. Instagram is going to say, listen, you're behaving like a robot. We've been seeing your activity for a long time. We don't want you to do this anymore. And they're going to stop you for a certain period of days to do this. Now, for me, it's unrealistic for me to sit here and do all that. Like, that's why I pay for the tool, uh, because it's just much faster. And I have virtual employees that as well use these tools. And I don't expect them to sit there and click because they're wasting, no offense, my valuable time when I actually pay for their time on an hourly basis. And their job is to get work done. And I don't want them to be slow. I don't want them to use the excuse that they have to sit there and click. So for me, it's definitely worth the investment. I could spend $20 and all my virtual assistants get to access the tool, not only access the tool, but it helps save them time so that they can work on other things, okay? Now, let's talk about getting banned or blocked. So you can never get banned using this specific tool or this tool, okay? And I've said this before, but I wouldn't talk about tools here that can get you banned, okay? So let's just get that clear. There are tools out there that will get you banned, okay? I want to be clear on that as well. There are tools that will get you banned, but there, but the tools that I'm specifically talking about will not get you banned, okay? I've tested these tools, and I've tried them for myself, all right? Now, in terms of the tools that will get you blocked, blo getting blocked is normal. Now, I haven't gotten blocked in about a year because I've been following my process and my methods, and like I said, I've shared those methods in the free course, the free Instagram bot uh, course, where is it right here? The Instagram post Redbubble course, I've shared it completely for free on Redbubble, and I've shared how to not get blocked on Instagram. Now, I want to say this. If you do get blocked on Instagram, it's not a big deal. You're just going to have to wait a few days. There's no, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing, you know, it's not like they're going to harm you. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing crazy. But what will happen is, is if you let's say do 150 follows on day one and and you get blocked, uh, maybe the next time that you eventually do bots or using the tools, the automation tools, the bots, you might have to, you might be able to do only 100. So your limit decreases, right? Because they're essentially 
squeezing you in a little bit more. Now, once again, if you use my exact methods that I've shared, that I'm always up to, you know, I'm always on, on, you know, always making sure that they're always working in the course. It's a free course, by the way. Um, you won't get blocked. Nothing will happen to you. You're going to be perfectly fine. Okay. And like I said, this is not something that a lot of people do, um, in the Redbubble community because we're just, we just simply don't know about it, right? It's not something that's discussed. And so with that being said, here's that video, f you know, for it. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll leave a link in the description, my affiliate links, uh, for this tool, the IG bots optimal tool. I'll literally call it the optimal tool. And then I'll also leave, uh, the tool for the subscription tool. So the first link will say optimal tool. The second link will say subscription tools. If you want to access the course, these links will be under those tools, uh, in the links uh, above. Okay. And as well, we will in the comments leave the Redbubble tagging course uh, guide and we will leave the Redbubble design course guide in the uh, comments. These courses are each $39.99. You guys know as we add content to these courses, the price of the courses will increase. So um, currently, I think we have about 30 videos on the uh, tagging course and we have 30 videos on the print on demand design course. Now, when I say uh, the print on demand design course, the thing that makes this special is the course is specifically geared towards speed efficiency, quality, and productivity. So with me, I don't sit there and I get lost in my designs. I create my designs uh, relatively quickly. I created, and you guys saw this in the video, in the course, 63 designs in a period of 34 minutes or something like that. And uh, the Red Bull tagging course, the reason why this is important is because we need to have an understanding around creating your tags optimally to get found on the Redbubble search algorithm and then titling your products optimally to get found through Google. And if we get found through Google and we get found through Redbubble, then what we're doing is we're increasing our organic traffic. And basically what organic means is it's something we don't have to pay for. It's something we don't necessarily have to work for. It just comes naturally by itself over time. And that's a huge benefit to our success over the course of a long period of time, right? So if you create, let's say, 10 designs and you optimally tag and optimally title those products, what that's going to do is it's going to lead your results later down the road to where maybe four months from now, six months from now, you're going to get random sales on your products, even though you never sat there marketing them or promoting them on you know, avenues such as Instagram or Pinterest or things like that. Okay. So those are just different things that go on within the Redbubble sphere. But today we specifically talked about the uh, honeypot method. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Bye.